Hi, this is Billy from GH Music in Flemington. I'm here in Sydney with Simon Ayton at Roland HQ. Um, Simon, I'm sitting behind an acoustic drum kit, but yes. looks like there's some other stuff on here. Exactly, yeah. People usually associate Roland with V-drums, and that's fantastic, but we've actually there's more to it than that. We've actually got this little hybrid set up today so I can show how you can use triggers in the sampler to reinforce the sound of your acoustic drums. So you don't have to decide to be an acoustic or an electronic drummer. It's sound reinforcement, just like a pickup on a guitar is sound reinforcement for a, an acoustic instrument. You can do the same with a with, uh, drum kit. So we have here a pretty typical drum setup as far as the mics go. We've got a dynamic bass drum microphone and a 57 on the snare, which is a very typical snare drum microphone that you'd find on stages around the world and a little small diaphragm condenser on the hi-hat, a ribbon mic to collect a bit of the sound of the kit, and we've got a bass drum trigger, which is the RT-10K at about two o'clock on the bass drum, and one on the snare, which is the RT-10S, which is a dual trigger, so it does snare and rim, which we'll show a little bit later. And we've got it connected to the trigger in on the SPDSX, and we've also got uh, a couple of sounds dialed up on there that we can use to reinforce the sound of the drum kit. Maybe dial up patch number 11, and or actually the first one there that you had, patch number 10. 10. And um, let's show them what the sound is like with a bit of sound reinforcement on the kit. Cool. Cool. Very cool. So it's transformed the sound, really. It's huge sound. I mean, the, the st standard acoustic drum kit sounds very dry and it's nice, but on stage, if you're doing a gig where you want different sounds during the show, this is a much more exciting thing for the audience. Also, an important thing is that a microphone is mono, generally on a bass drum, so you're just hearing it in mono out the front, whereas when you're triggering a sound from the sample pad, we're able to use full stereo samples, so yep. they sound much bigger. So the drum sound is you know, usually unlike anyone's heard through a PA system before. So that's cool. So you've got uh, on the edge there, you've actually got a separate. So that's a clap sound. And on the edge, on the <laughs> standard, we have a big fat snare drum sound, similar to the sound of the snare already, but this just basically enhances the sound. And the yep. bass drum is transformed really by a big snappy bass mm. drum. So let's try another patch. Let's go to patch 11. And this has what on the bass drum? I can't remember. 808. Okay, a classic roll and drum machine sound, yep. which has got lots of bottom end. And on the snare. Okay, massive, big, ringy, garage-sounding compressed snare drum. And remember, this is quite a standard steel snare. We've got a little bit of muffling on there, so it's quite a dry, dead sound. So if we can just show again what the dry sound is like compared to this second <coughs> snare drum sound. Dry, yep. dramatically different sound so it's really cool out the front you can switch kits during your gigs if, especially if you're playing in a cover band you can create dramatically different snare mm. drum drum sounds throughout the whole gig so on the rim we also have a sample as well what's on the edge of that so that's a obviously a loop with some bass on it as well we can have that triggered from the edge of the snare yeah. and then patch number 12 what have we got on there okay so this one's got again a bass drum yeah, so this is cool. This is a bass drum loop, but it also has a grr sound yeah, start. So, a bit of go, 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 go. So, you can do all sorts yeah. of interesting stuff like that. On the edge of the snare, we've got sub, the old classic sub drop sound, which is already in the SPDSX. You don't have to sample it yourself, it comes with it. And on the center, yeah, again, a snare big chestnut sound. snare. So, what can we hit. do with that? Yeah. Yeah, so imagine turning up to a gig with this, you've got this little tiny drum kit, and yeah. people think, yeah, all right, that's not going to do much, but you can create this enormous sound. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there you go, that's how you can uh, reinforce your drum sound using triggers in an SPDSX. We've got um, all the Roland triggers and SPDSX in stock at GH Music, so come in and check them out. Yeah.